Welcome back, you beautiful people. It is January 2024, a new year. Naturally, we're taking a look back at what happened in December 2023 and how the year finished off in total. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone who you think might like this type of information. You can book an appointment with me in the Calendly link below, or you can download both the buyer or the seller guide in the links that you see down below. Let's jump right into it. Hope you had a great new year. In the month of December, you can see the total number of sales, 292. This is for detached houses, okay? An increase of 13.2% in terms of number of sales versus 2022. Average price up by 3.3%. The number of active listings is there are more, 7.8% more. 1055 is the number of active listings at the end of December 2023, but significantly less than what we saw last month. 3.6 months of inventory does still make it a little bit of a light seller's market. Uh, year to date on the detached side, you can see the total number of transactions is down by 9%. The average price is down by 5.5%. And with less than 12,000 sales in 2023 across all branches, we had the lowest sales volume in over a decade. Uh, considering the size of our city has grown, that is going to leave a lot of people on the sidelines who've been waiting. The expectations that 2024 is going to be a bit of a rebound year, uh, and we finished the uh, year this year with a detached average price month over month going up by $50,000 versus November, and the number of available listings dropping by 550. So you can see about 33% less listings going into the beginning of January. It is going to create a bit of uh, excitement in the detached segment. Not so much in the apartment style, also in the in the semi and towns you can see a little bit more excitement there, but we'll uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. In December the total number of sales 191 for both semis and townhouses increase of 1.1%, decrease average price by 4.3%. The number of active listings you can see here at 451, that is 1.3% more. But again, when you look at it versus last year, not a lot. 2.4 months of inventory is definitely seller's market territory. Year to date, you can see here we're sitting year to date at a total number of sales of 38.38, a decrease of 12.3%, average price down by 7.6. But what's really interesting again is that the average price went up month over month by November by about $23,000, about 5%. And the number of active listings is down by more than 50%. Meaning that buyers in this segment have less to choose from and the sellers can continue to expect good things for townhouses and semi-detached homes. On the apartment side, only 80 transactions, but that's an increase in 20, from 2022 of 9.6%, a decrease in average price point by 1.1%. Okay, the number of active listings, you can see there is negative uh, 1.5 more, uh, which actually means negative 1.5 less properties for sale. I'm not going to update that. That's okay. There are 4.2 months of inventory though, so we are in balanced market territory for the apartment style properties. Big reason for that is a lot of the other properties came off at the end of the year. People said, hey, my listing's expiring. End of December, if it's not sold, take it off the market. Not so much the same on the apartment style. A lot of them stayed on. You can see year to date, we've only sold 1,890 apartment style units uh, and the average price has gone down by 2.6% from 2022. But like I said, the uh, number, uh, the, the average price uh, has increased from December to, uh, from November to December by $30,000, but the total number of sales volume is still down by 13%. All right, we have 28% less listings at the end of December than we had at the end of November, but not as pronounced a drop as some of the other two categories, meaning it's still a segment that's in that balanced market territory that we talked about a second ago. As always, if you'd like more information about how all of this applies to you and your family, whether you're buying or selling, whether it's a condo, a semi, a townhouse, a detached home, commercial property, investment property, whatever it might be, the team and I are always happy to help. The phone number, one real 585 Happy New Year, and until next time, keep it real, collective.